It was the gust of wind felt round the world. That iconic moment when Marilyn Monroe, in a stunning white halter dress, catches a cool breeze on a steamy night in New York City. Hey, wait a minute! That oh-so-memorable scene from Billy Wilder's comedy The Seven-Year Itch would end up being the movie's moment to remember. But shooting that scene would have repercussions far beyond box office returns. Everything's fine. A married man, air conditioning, champagne and potato chips. It's just a wonderful party. The blonde bombshell who played the ditzy girl. This is what they call classical music, isn't it? Yes. I could tell because there's no vocal. Shh. Don't talk. Let it sweep over you. To promote the film, newspapers announced when and where the scene would be shot. And the actress, beloved by her fans, got New Yorkers to come out. So many people came to see the famous skirt-stealing scene that crowd noise became a factor even at the late hour. Director Billy Wilder had her do take after take to try to get it right, but ultimately it had to be reshot later on the Fox lot in California. But it was Marilyn's new husband, former New York Yankee great Joe DiMaggio, who was there on set and was most bothered by his wife's sexy subway scene. He was said to be enraged by the crowds and the retakes, and later, back at their hotel, he and Marilyn reportedly had a huge fight, during which DiMaggio assaulted his wife. The couple announced their separation less than a month later. Their marriage would end, though they would remain friends, and DiMaggio would even escort her to the movie's premiere. In 2011, the white dress Marilyn wore for her still-talked-about cooling-off scene fetched more than four and a half million dollars at an auction. That scene in cinematic history is considered the defining moment of all film. As for the movie itself... Hi. We forgot about the stairs, isn't that silly? It was very easy. I just pulled out the nails. Oh. It's perfectly safe. Nobody will ever find out. Well, you can never go wrong with Marilyn.